Hi everyone, um, just a quick thought for you on a Wednesday um, midweek devotion. Uh, I think some of you know that last week I dropped my phone uh, for the last time and after one too many times and it died a slow death. Um, I was actually out getting pizza and I was a bit nervous because I thought I need this to get the pizza and then I was taking it to a friend's house and uh, I thought, well, if my phone dies, I don't actually know how to get to the friend's house because I need the maps to find out where the address is. And luckily, it, it was still working, kind of. Um, but then slowly over the next sort of 24 hours or so, this black ink just spread across the screen and it just slowly died and became unusable. And I sort of started to look for something, or maybe I can get something quickly, but I was heading away for the weekend and I thought, I'll just live for the weekend without a phone. And it was okay, I was away um, on a family holiday and I had my computer and I could search some messages using that and I could, um, yeah, kind of keep in touch that way. But uh, as soon as I got back, I, I had this just felt need of like, I really need to get something sorted. I, I need to have a phone. Um, people might be messaging me. Uh, so quickly on Sunday afternoon, I, I found a secondhand phone and went and got that and, and got it sorted. And, and I was quite motivated. And it was interesting because I kind of even felt surprised by just how it felt to not have a working phone for a few days. Um, I sort of thought it would be fine and it, and it was fine, but but there was this sense of like uh, lack, like feeling disconnected, feeling like I can't do something, like even just put in directions to get somewhere or you know, like people contact me, I don't know who's contacting me, I can't search something and there was just this sense of like, well in our day and age like um, in, in many ways you kind of need a phone to get by like uh, unless you pull out the Refidex or something like that um, but in many ways it's kind of like this real need and, and so much of our time and attention and um, functions in life uh, using our phones. Even I'm recording this on my phone right now and they're not bad things. Um, there's dangers that come with them uh, but the technology that can be used for lots of good things as well. But it just made me realize just how dependent um, many of us are on this form of technology. And I don't know if you've noticed that, but yeah, we, we use these for messages, we use this for information, we use this to find connection to the other world, we use it for to the outside world, we use it for music, um, directions to places, reading books. I mean, even now we, we use it to hear messages from church or even attend church um, on your phone. We, we use it for so many things. So therefore, if it dies or breaks, uh, runs out of battery, like there might be this sense of being vulnerable. Um, or in a sense, it kind of feels a bit like maybe losing a limb. It's like you can't do a lot of stuff. You can't get places, can't, can't be connected to others without a working phone. And this got me kind of thinking because I thought, well, obviously we're, many of us are dependent on this technology and therefore when it's not there, it's really noticeable. But I thought, well, for me personally, and, and maybe for us as well, we would notice if we don't have a working phone, but do we notice when we're not connected to God, uh, when we're not in His presence, it, it, we're not living life with Him? Is that really noticeable? Like if we really notice it when we don't have a phone, do we, do we really notice it maybe if we're not in close connection with Him? Because I really leave, rarely leave the house without a phone. I think most people would rarely leave the house without a phone, but but how often do we just leave the house without really being in touch with God's presence and God being with us? Uh, I very rarely don't check my phone for messages or don't read messages that I receive, but, but how often do I maybe really listen to the messages God's giving uh, throughout the day and, and so want to receive and read and hear them? Uh, our phones can really take so much distraction and attention from us. And I just wonder how much of our attention goes into that rather than into the Lord. Like what if, what if I, what if we, when we're bored and have a moment spare, instead of the attention going to check something in distraction of a phone, what if our attention went to the Lord, into his presence? What if that was the thing that we craved in moments of space? 
What if I lived with more longing to be connected to him than be connected to the 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 grid, the the internet, the to, to messages and people? Uh, live with more longing to be connected to his presence. What if I had greater desire to hear every message that he has for me than every text that I receive from somebody else? What if I was more dependent on the directions and instructions that he has for my life? more than I depend on Google Maps or Apple Maps to get me places around the place? What if I focus more on capturing and savoring moments of beauty and intimacy with God than just taking photos on my phone? And see, there are many, many good things and many things that phones can help us with in the day-to-day, but we're in danger of them taking our attention and becoming something that we depend on for life. But while Jesus was fasting, he he quoted this verse from Deuteronomy that says, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And he's saying, well, fasting and proving, he, he's saying we don't actually live by bread alone. Bread is important. It's good. But we actually live by the word of God. God's the provider. God is actually the one we're ultimately dependent on. And perhaps to us today, for many of us, perhaps we need to know that we don't live by our phones alone, uh, but we live ultimately with the help and strength and presence of the Lord, that we need him much more than we need a phone. And maybe in some ways the, the way to learn that we don't live by bread alone is through fasting. We fast and we realize it's God's presence that sustains us. And maybe there's something to be said for fasting technology, for fasting our phone. And maybe even this week, consider, could you turn off your phone for a bit? Uh, A few hours maybe, a day, or maybe just an hour a day. And just think, well, what does it feel like to not have that connection? And what is it like to actually realize we need God's help, God's presence? not just this form of technology. So just bless you guys. Have a great week. Um, And yeah, we'll see you next time.